think towing is just something that a lot of us don't think about until it happens to us. Towing woes continue in Colorado. People would park in parking lot that they were supposed to and they would get towed for really minor reasons. Small network of companies causing frustration. The people that that impacted the most were people who really couldn't afford to lose that few hundred dollars. From managing parking lot permits to towing and auctioning cars. But then when I saw the tow truck there, right where I had parked, that's when I knew. In a matter of minutes, my vehicle had been towed out from under me. Tonight, we are digging into a powerful impound empire. I'm Shannon Ogden. And I'm Ann Trujillo. The towing bill of rights passed last year, overhauling state oversight of the industry. Now, it was supposed to fix Colorado's towing problem, but one lawmaker Denver 7 Investigates talked to says the law is not hitting its mark. Consumer investigator Jacqueline Allen exposes towing practices to hold these companies accountable. Poor guy's getting his car towed. No one likes to get their car towed. When I came back at 9.30 that evening, my car was gone. But towing complaints in Colorado highlight a larger concern. When someone has their vehicle towed, they are vulnerable. It's very important that vulnerable people not get preyed on. To protect people, Colorado passed an ambitious towing bill of rights last year. Good, we solved the problem. Not at all. The reality is Contact Denver 7 and consumer advocates are seeing more towing complaints than ever. I, I cannot approve this one. This one group has an interest in making it hard. Our investigation uncovered a complicated network of towing related companies linked by owners and locations, an impound empire. You know what my word for it was? JD. In August, Julie Gonzalez parked her car in a Denver garage and thought she was following the Park M rules. I took a photo and it actually says overnight guest parking by permit only. When I saw that sign, I didn't think anything of it because I had no intention of parking there overnight. But when she came back at 9.30 that night, her car was gone. There were three Wyatt's tow trucks. In a matter of minutes, my vehicle had been towed out from under me. At Wyatt's impound lot, she requested to pay $60 under the payment installment plan, now allowed under the new towing bill of rights, but says the woman who paid before her didn't even know that was an option. You shouldn't have to be well versed in the law because you wrote it in order to be able to vindicate your right. That's right, Senator Julie Gonzalez was a prime sponsor of the towing bill of rights. Her experience, though, highlights the problems she says come from an integrated set of companies working together. By not being clear with people about the signage and not being clear in offering people at the moment that they come to pick up their cars about the installment plan. I think that Wyatt's technically followed the letter of the law, but I absolutely believe that they violated the spirit of the law. The Community Economic Defense Project and policy head Melissa Mejia have long said towing in Colorado is out of control. But one name would come up more often than others, and it was Wyatt's towing. Dominating the state's towing industry didn't take long. Public records show in 2018, a private investment firm called 3T Holdings was formed in Colorado, linking the three T's, Troy Porras, Tony Porras, and Trevor Forbes, and nearly a dozen towing brands across the front range. What is 3T Holdings? As far as we can tell, that is the primary parent company. The web of connections between the three T's is complex. We've been trying to break it down, and we found links between Park M, Wyatt's, and Peak Auto Auctions. Now, that's important because because from parking lot surveillance and permitting to towing to selling the cars that have been towed, the three T's are tied to every aspect of this impound empire. Vertical integration essentially means that this one group of people has an interest in every stage of a particular industry. Mejia says her clients have seen firsthand how this works out for people getting their cars towed, starting with the Park M app. The Towing Bill of Rights tried to prevent tow operators from authorizing their own tows, requiring the property owner or their agent to sign off. I ended up paying. In Senator Gonzalez's case, records show Park M was contracted with to enforce overnight parking. We did some digging and found Park M's articles of organization show one of the three T's, Troy Porras, formed the company, the same person who formed Wyatt's Towing, the same address listed for both. This hand says, we give you authorization to tow, and this hand then says, great, we're now gonna tow that vehicle. That type of vertical integration is exactly what we sought to prohibit 
with our Colorado Towing Bill of Rights. If people can't afford to get their towed car back, Wyatt's sells cars through peak auto auctions, an online auction platform. Records show it's listed at the same address as Wyatt's Towing, formed by another one of the three T's, Trevor Forbes. And to top it all off, advocates argue towing has minimal oversight in Colorado. This is Jacqueline Allen. Contact Denver 7 has covered that issue before. Until recently, the Wyatt CEO, Trevor Forbes, chaired the state towing task force, responsible for making industry recommendations to state regulators. They are judge, jury, and executioner of who gets to keep their car and who loses their vehicle entirely. What's the solution? Number one, we need to make sure that this vertical integration isn't allowed. As the Wyatt's complaint drumbeat got louder, a new issue emerged. There's quite a bit of paperwork involved. Video obtained by Denver 7 Investigates shows instead of releasing cars for the $60 or 15% allowed by law, Wyatt's was asking people to apply for loans with interest to get the payment plan. A 12% interest rate. So we sat down with Colorado Attorney General Phil Weiser, who says that goes against the law. You shouldn't have to be a state state senator or a lawyer or some fancy person who can advocate for yourself to get the rights that everyone should get. Wyatt's attorney says the legislation wasn't clear, the company stopped using the form after the AG said it wasn't legal, and never charged any interest. It's not often the AG makes a probe public, but Weiser recently confirmed Wyatt's is under investigation. What we can say is we're going to do a thorough, full, and fair investigation. And at the end result, we can either take action against Wyatt and or we can conclude if there are holes in the law that don't protect people, we need to fix them. Through their attorney, Wyatt's Towing and its partners declined an on-camera interview for this story. In an email, their attorney wrote, Park M, Peak Auto Auctions, and Cars Direct are independently managed businesses with broad operations largely unrelated to Wyatt's Towing. At a legislative committee hearing last year, Wyatt's CEO, Trevor Forbes, downplayed the relevance of his business connections. It is true that we own those businesses. I am having a hard time finding the I don't know, nefarious connection that's made between those and we have a slight amount of vertical integration. Their attorney writes the implication made by advocacy groups that these businesses are working together to take advantage of consumers is wholly incorrect. He argues that Colorado's towing industry is already one of the most heavily regulated in the country and why it sets the industry standard. This is the paperwork. Senator Gonzalez says that's a problem. I wasn't the only person who was refunded that evening. It was an incorrect tow. After her tow, Wyatt said it refunded her money as a courtesy and state regulators found no violation. That in itself, she says, suggests more work needs to be done to protect Coloradans. She's putting together a towing team to do just that. I'm not alone in wanting to prevent this type of vertical integration. I feel like we're playing a game of whack-a-mole. And so if we need to go back this upcoming legislative session, we're happy to do that. For Denver 7, I'm consumer investigator Jacqueline Allen. And Jacqueline and the Denver 7 Investigates team has looked into towing complaints in Colorado extensively. I encourage you to find our previous coverage at denver7.com. Just search towing in the search bar.